Iwashia. And again, I'm sorry if I butcher names. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so Aquila's wellspring born power has allowed her to summon fantastic magical beings from across time and space to her side. See, and this is one thing I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad we're getting more Aquila stuff, you know? I I'm kind of happy with that. Um, let's see here. Okay, the, for the ferocious Iwashia is one such warrior who hails from the Dryan world of... Arboreous. To her great pleasure, the waters of Valhalla responded to her magic just as those of her homeworld once did. Until recently, no one was aware Aquila had such accomplished wizards at her beck and call. Iwashia and her fellows have kept to themselves, studying quietly in the heart of the Moon Tribe's mountains, but the time has come to reveal their true power and Iwashia has been quietly eager to try her newest spells in real combat. So just she's been kind of hiding around. Let's hear it. Garbage imposter, hello, welcome. Um, very excited for Hero Escape this summer. Yeah, in, in August for sure. And also, I mean, when we see, because they'll be revealing Wave 2 as well in June, so that, that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. As a minor, minor critiques aside, um, I think overall everything is is very good with this. Now, just looking at this image though, um, I don't know. I have to get the miniature in my hands, um, but it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It just I don't know. It's just a little. <laughs> it's a little blue. Um, but yeah, I mean, the more I look at the cards, the more I'm just like, okay, you know, I, they're actually they're not terrible. They're not terrible. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, Dryan. Um, Unikara, wizard, fierce. We're getting wizards. Getting, getting darn wizards. Um, 115 points. Hmm. Okay. Four life. Move of five. So she can she can move a little bit too. Range of one. Attack of three. Defense of four. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Command familiar. After revealing an order marker on Iwasha, master tides before taking Iwasha's turn. Oh, so we got a little bit of bonding here. Bonding with an actual unique hero, you make it. You may take a turn with a small or medium beast you control. There's a little bit of bonding there. Interesting. Twister special attack, range six, attack four. Iwashia may use Twister special attack if she, if she is within one space of a water tile. Now, does that mean regular water tile, but um, wellspring water tile too? Mm -hmm. Choose a figure to attack. You may also choose up to two spaces in a straight line from the targeted figure. All figures on those spaces are also affected by Twister Special Attack. Interesting. Roll attack dice once for all affected figures. That's attack four, a range of six. Ah, okay, each figure rolls defense dice separately. Iwashia is not affected by Twister Special Attack. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Um, so she just basically commands water to come up and that I like. I like Iwashia. Yeah, that's nice. Aegeus of the river. Iwashia does not have to stop her movement when entering a water space. Okay. Add one to Iwashia's defense value while she is on a water space. So she, she can move through water just fine and she adds one to her defense. So from a defense of four to a defense of five. That's nice. Great water. Iwashia starts each game with three water tiles on this army card. Interesting. At the end of Iwashia's turn, you may place a water tile from this army card on Iwashia's space or within one space of Iwashia if the water tile fits normally onto that space. Now, this is actually something that's interesting. Because with um, like Adventure Together games and Time Strike, um, I know I haven't played Time Strike yet, but I know you can like change the uh, um, like the terrain um, within Time Strike, and this is the first time I've seen um, in HeroScape that you can actually change the terrain a little bit, add water space tiles to the game that which isn't there. That is cool. I like that. 
That that is a nice ability. Wow. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. I'm just I, I'm okay, give me a minute cuz Wow. All right. Likey likey likey. And at 115 points, it's not a bad hero. I can't wait to test these guys out. I can't wait to test these guys out. <clears throat> All right. I, and just looking at the, there's there's I feel like there's a lot of value here. Like I said, I could be wrong. I mean, there's a lot of people who are well more versed in HeroScape than I am, and um, would know better, you know, how well these would work on a tournament level. Um, but let's see here. Uh, Justin says Mika Connor had two shadow tiles on the card that she could place during the game. Oh, well, there was that ability too. Okay, I'm I'm not familiar with that one. Um, so there you go. Okay. Um, so this isn't something new, but it it, it is new to me. Um, but that's interesting. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to look. I'll have to look that one up. <laughs> I'll have to look up Mika Connor. There's so many. I'm just like my brain. 